100 jams where hit music lives. Locked in the midday chop up right here with your girl Erin Rain. You know what it's time for. It's all about Chat Trap. Letting you know what's happening in the media today. And listen up. Got the juice right here for you. So Nicki Minaj, um, of course, you know, she returned to the music industry. And it was very long awaited, but I'm glad that she's back. She re-released her mixtape with a few new tracks on it. And she did singles with Polo G and Skilly Bang. And I'm sure there's more on the way. However, she's still been dealing with a lot in her personal life. So Nicki Minaj's father was killed in a tragic hit and run accident earlier this year in February. And her mother had filed a 150 million lawsuit against the individual. Now, a lot of persons would say now, come on. I saw a lot of the comments on social media. Everyone was like, obviously, the guy probably doesn't even have that much money. But of course, you can tell by the number. There's a lot of frustration in this. And of course, you know, um, you know, they were saddened by this news, seeing that it was a hit and run. But however, the 70 year old defendant is denying that he was wrong in the accident. And the defendant actually stated that Nicki Minaj's father was reckless, careless and negligent in crossing the street, which placed him in a sudden and unexpected circumstance because he was in the face of an emergency. Oh, I disagree with this. I mean, of course, none of us probably was there, but. I'm just hoping that this gets settled the right way because the defendant also is currently out on bond after being released on a 250000 bond in the criminal charges brought by um, the state. So I'm just hoping that they get, you know, they really resolve this matter um, in the way that it should be because that's something to especially just be going through, be dealing with. You already got a lot of, you know, being in the media is already a lot. Of course, you got a lot of life issues, personal issues, and then to deal with a hit and run accident. And of course, you know, this person is coming to court and you don't feel as though, you know, they really are exactly, they really feel saddened by it or, you know, feel wrong for their actions. But anyhow, moving on to further news, Dr. Dre has finally opened up about his scary battle with brain aneurysm for the first time. And he used his experience as an example to other black men as a warning that they should take better care of their health. It's a really weird thing, Dr. Dre said. And he said that he actually never had high blood pressure and he's always been a person that has always taken care of his health. But he said that there's something that happens for some reason with black men and high blood pressure, and he did not see it coming. But he did add that he's doing more to take care of his health and advise others to do the same, especially where it concerns blood pressure. So he also stated that he's taking care of himself, and he thinks that every black man should just check that out and make sure things are okay with the blood pressure, and that he's also going to move on and hopefully live a long and healthy life. And right now he's feeling fantastic. So it's good to hear that coming from Dr. Dre, especially seeing that what he went through, even with his divorce and everything. And maybe that probably had just played a little bit of role when it came to his health issues. But moving on to further news as to what's going on with Tyrus Riley, some very sad news. He revealed that his sister, Jaffa Joy Riley, has passed away. And right now he's saying that this is the worst time in his family. His little sister passed away right now. But of course, it's rough right now. But he's just thanking everyone for all their well wishes and support. So you know it's going to probably be a a while before we see Tyrus Riley back on the music scene. But that's it for Chat Travel and you know a bit about what's going on. Jumping back into the media right now, BRS Cash. Go, baby.